So this this stemmed from a question uh, from uh, Pakistanet T-shirt owner uh, Dalvir uh, Vander, Commander Vander's left leg. Are you scared of the LA Kings? I am. And I kind of thought about it, and I'm like, yeah, they're they're nipping at our heels. You know, what's the big deal? They they don't have a lot of goal scoring, and I kind of surface level assume about this team because. You know, I'm, I'll be the first to admit I'm not lot, watching a lot of LA Kings games right now. That could change. Um, but here's what we need to know: facts and stats on the LA Kings. The yes, third sir. in the Pacific. Um, here's here's the best piece of news: the Canucks do not play the Kings till February 29th. Then they play them on March 5th, March March 25th, and April 9th. So the home ice advantage positioning in the in the Pacific Division, it all is going to come down to those four games. So collect the wins now. Get your two points as much as, as often as possible mm-hmm. because these divisional games are going to be the Achilles heel of this season. Um, Kings, they're 10-3 and three since Halloween. Uh, they only have two minus players on their whole roster. I know it's an antiquated stat, but it's still something I like to look at. Uh, as a general periphery, those 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 minus players: Pierre Luc Dubois, Kevin Fiala. So, mm-hmm. when, not not too bad. Uh, they got the seventeenth best power play in the league. So, like we said uh, um, earlier, they don't rely on you know another team's decisions to to succeed. They do, however, have the best penalty kill in the league, and they are cooking. Um, they have also given up the fewest goals in the league with forty eight. For reference, number two, fewest goals given up in the NHL, the Pacific Division, Vegas Golden Knights <laughs> with 58. Goals four, they are scoring goals. It just doesn't seem like it. They're fifth in the league in goals four. Here's some dork shit. Uh, goals four over games played, they're uh, at 386. That's first in the league. Goals against over games played, 2.29. That's first in the league. Uh, for reference, the Kings have played 21 games. Uh, the Canucks have played twenty five. Were the Kings in Sweden? Oh, um, I'm not. I don't think so. No, it was I, I, what it was. Detroit, Wild, the Wild, and the Ontario teams. Yeah. So they've got a, They've they're kind of they're kind of collecting some games in hand. Mm-hmm. And finally, they have probably the three best. They're not winning the most draws, but the, uh, defensively sound the best. Some of the best two way centers in the league. Mm-hmm. Anze Kopitar. Uh, Philip Deneau, and now Pierre-Luc Dubois. So much like Arash said earlier in the show, with with Vegas having that identity, that LA Kings team has that defensive identity, that defensive structure, and the Canucks are right in the middle of these two guys in this in this defensive structure sandwich. So if they want to compete with them, it's mm-hmm. you figure out these mistakes now in December and not when you're you know, trying to scoop water out of the Titanic lifeboat in, in early April. Yeah. Wow. What a, what a, what a amazing breakdown. So did you just, did you get into like an LA Kings rabbit hole today? I think so. Like, you know, they are right there in the standings. They aren't really talked about. They are, they're doing things by committee. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a decade of having John quick there. So you think that they're going to, um, uh, that, that you know, oh, they're just, they're going to be good defensively. No, it's Cam Talbot with a goals against of like one point nine six. Like these are Marty Turco Dallas numbers twenty years ago. So they've got the committee, they've got the platoon goaltending, just like the Canucks do, and just like Vegas does. They are a good measuring stick, and they are a good um, pace rabbit for this Canucks. That is the, the Clydesdale. That is the Canucks. Yeah, I'm really curious on. Um you know, how Cam, Cam Talbot can kind of hold on and um, Phoenix Copley and everyone. And um, yeah, they're, they're, it's it's really interesting. I, I just, did, I the Cam Talbot thing really threw me off when they signed him. I'm like, oh man, you guys are, you know, trying to chintz up going in the bargain bin a bit, but we'll see what happens with that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, good, good rundown. Good rundown on, uh, on, on those Kings. <clears throat> 